Hi, this is Josh Godhelf, and welcome back to Fight Bad Medicine. Today, I want to teach you how to fight back against H. pylori. So H. pylori, also known as Helicobacter pylori, is known to cause stomach ulcers, is known to cause ulcers in the small intestine. So what is, what is this H. pylori? So Helicobacter pylori is a bacteria which can reside in the stomach, and if it overgrows, it can create ulcers or worse, it can cause cancerous lesions if they're left there long enough or cause perforations in the stomach. So if you or anyone you know has ulcers, very, very good reason to get tested for H. pylori. So even if you have, let's say burping or acid reflux, another reason to get tested for H. pylori. So how do you test for H. pylori? Very, very simple. So if you visit your primary care doctor or GI doctor or better yet a functional medicine doctor, there are tests for it. We can do a urea breath test, which you test for the carbon dioxide levels. You, you swallow this like very sweet and sour uh, tasting liquid. And if carbon dioxide shows up, then you know that you have uh, level, high levels of H. pylori. Or alternatively, you can do a stool test. So these are two ways to figure out if you have H. pylori. Um, so symptoms of H. pylori. So we got bloating, excessive burping, nausea or vomiting, uh, chest pain. So it's, it could be acid reflux if it's the middle of the chest, um, lack of appetite or unexplained weight loss. All can be symptoms of H. pylori. So treatment. So what is a conventional medicine doctor gonna normally do? So H. pylori is a bacterial organism, so they're gonna use antibiotics. And then remember that H. pylori can create these ulcers, so they need to coat the lining of the stomach um, or stop the acid, so they will give something called a proton pump inhibitor, or you might know it as omeprazole or Prilosec. So yes, you can get rid of the H. pylori through this, and sometimes not always. Um, but there are side effects. The antibiotics, remember, not only kill the good bacteria, the bad bacteria, but they can also kill the good bacteria. That's not something we want to deal with because we know that killing the good bacteria causes an imbalance in the gut, which eventually causes leaky gut, which causes inflammation and chronic disease. We don't want to go down that path. We want to use something more gentle. And then the proton pump inhibitors, although they stop the acid and it allows the stomach lining to heal itself, what happens is these proton pump inhibitors, they, don't, or they, they, are rec they are recommended to take only short term. However, the person ends up staying on it long term. I've seen too many stories where the doctor says, okay, you'll stay on it for four to six weeks, and then a year passes, two years pass, five years pass, and then they're on the same proton pump inhibitor because they don't necessarily fix their diet and instead rely on that to stop the acid. Um, what can that cause? B vitamin deficiency, especially B12, and B12 is needed for neurological function, for energy, for detoxification, not something you wanna be lacking in. Also magnesium, and that causes um, a whole slew of issues when you're lacking magnesium, and can actually disrupt digestion, because if you have enough magnesium, you get constipated, you get kidney stones, and then you're back to square one. So how, how do you treat the H. pylori? The fir first things first, you want to cut out the behaviors which created the H. pylori in the first place. So number one is you want to have a healthy digestive tract and so therefore healthy digestive habits. So we've talked about tips, 10 tips for healthy digestion. You could go to the earlier video, but we'll talk about some of them. So number one, chew your food well because you'll get well digested. It won't sit there and rot and for the H. pylori, the bacteria to grow inside the stomach. Number two, only eat to your 80% full. Another reason, um, so the food doesn't rot. Um, maybe taking a digestive enzyme will help break down the foods better. You know, the lemon and ginger before the meal, anything to help break down the food. Uh, not drinking during the meal, drink after the meal. Um, drink warm uh, room temperature drinks not cold drinks because that because that stunts digestion so these are those few a few of the tips that we talked about in the 10 tips for healthy digestion which will help gear the digestion to better get rid of the food so it doesn't sit there and rot for the h pylori to grow 
Number two, eat a clean diet. So what do you want to get rid of? Number one is sugar, refined carbohydrates. So this feeds bacteria. Bacteria will overgrow if it has all these sugary substances. Alcohol is another, it's just another name for a sugary substance, even though um, it's later fermented, it still, it still grows as sugar inside your digestive tract and it raises your blood sugar. Um, any processed foods, um, that's just gonna create havoc in your digestive tract. So what are foods that can support the gut? So we always talk about bone broth. Bone broth, you can either find it um, as a powder. That's probably the easiest way to get it. They have these bone broth protein powders. Um, or you can make your own bone broth. It's not very difficult. You know, you can make your old fashioned chicken soup with your celery, uh, carrots, onion, and then you just let the bones sit, apple cider vinegar. There's a lot of um, recipes for bone broth out there, but what bone broth has is L-glutamine, uh, collagen, so it actually helps support the gut lining and rebuild the gut lining. Um, any, any foods that support the good bacteria, so, um, we're talking about the prebiotic foods, the probiotic foods. Um, you got your sauerkraut, your kimchi, your kefir, your probiotic yogurts. These are all fantastic for the gut. Um, in terms of diet, when, when you're trying to get rid of the H, get rid of the H. pylori, uh, you want to try to eat more of a gut-friendly diet. I recommend the, the Clean Gut by Alejandro Younger. That's a really, really great book. It's a four-week process. It's just a nice, clean diet to restore the gut in the meantime. Now, supplements. So we do want to kill off the H. pylori, but instead of using an antibiotic, which is kind of harsh, there's something called berberine. Berberine is an antimicrobial. And actually, it's been shown through research that berberine will kill the bad bacteria, but actually support the good bacteria. So when you support the good bacteria, it will fight and compete against this H. pylori at the same time as killing it off.